Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Mr. Perkins is going to fire me. Now, Lucy, you're just imagining things. Well, I'm not imagining that I'm the only one of the whole group that hasn't sold a single vacuum cleaner. And I don't know why I haven't sold one. I called on some pretty dirty people. <laughs> you just weren't cut out to be a sales lady. Well, I know I can do it, Viv. I'm beginning to get the hang of it. It just isn't fair to get fired without really having been given a chance. Oh, now, Father. Uh, good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I've just finished checking over your sales reports. Huh? And I must say that as a group, most of you ladies have done remarkably well during your first week of selling. But unfortunately, in every barrel, there's always one rotten apple. <laughs> well, this company has no room for failures. There should be no difficulty in selling our product. For without a doubt, it is the finest lightweight vacuum cleaner in the world. And we can all take pride in handy dandy, the vacuum cleaner. So just get out there and sell, sell, sell. Good day and good luck. Yes, sir, good day. Uh, Mrs. Carmichael, I want to talk to you. I quit. Oh. <laughs> Michael, maybe it's just as well, because, frankly, I don't think you were intended for a career in selling. But, Mr. Perkins, I never really had a chance. <laughs> you know, you gave me the worst territory in town. Oh, please, please, please. Maybe uh, there's something wrong with your sales technique. Show me how you approach a customer. What? Well, pretend Mrs. Bagley's a customer and you're trying to make a sale. Oh, I couldn't sell her anything. Well, try. Well, all right. I'll, I'll try to sell it. You can stand over there. All please. right. What's that? Well, that's a buzzer. I gotta ring the doorbell before I get in. You're already inside. Uh, Start selling. All right, yes, sir. Uh, how do you do, madam? I represent the... If that's a vacuum cleaner you're trying to sell me, I don't want one. She's fighting me! <laughs> Give her a chance to show you the product. Let her demonstrate it. Give me a chance, All right, all right, go ahead. All right. Madam, I have here the handy-dandy, lightweight vacuum cleaner. Now, uh, I'm going to... Oh, pardon me. Now, I want you to notice, madam, how quiet it is. And I want you to notice how, how, how light this attachment is, and, and you can do anything with it. It vacuums rugs, and it cleans drapes, and it uh, shampoos the furniture, and uh, Mr. Perkins, what, what's the other thing that it does? Mrs. Carmichael, it's right here in the sales brochure. It's all you have to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Take her along with me today and show her how a real sales lady works. Do anything you want, but get her out of here. Oh, you'd better sell one or you're through. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> I heard what he said. Yes, I heard what he said. <laughs> now, you're going to go right along with me and watch a real pro at work. With my help, maybe. Oh, what, what do you mean with your help? How many vacuum cleaners have you sold all together? One. <laughs> and if Mr. Perkins found out how you sold that one, you wouldn't be such a pro. Suppose I told him that last night when you were practicing your sales pitch on me, I was such a pushover, I bought it. <laughs> hey, I know where I can make a sale. 
too. Where? Mrs. Mooney. Her husband's a banker. He can afford it. That's a marvelous idea. I'll go along with you. Oh, no, you won't. I thought of it first. Now he said we were supposed to work as partners. Well, we will, but after I sell Mrs. Mooney. Now, you can come with me, but wait in the car. Yes, Jim, I bought the stamp. It's a beauty, a 1918 upside-down airmail. Yeah? yeah, it isn't canceled. It's in perfect condition. Cost me $3,000, but it was worth it. Yeah. Now, come in. Come. I haven't seen one of these for a long... What's that, Jim? Oh, no, I don't think so. No, oh, I... hello, Mr. Mooney. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Is Mrs. Mooney at home? No, and neither am I. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, uh, How would you like to surprise your wife with a wonderful gift? Why should I? She doesn't have anything on me. <laughs> I have here the greatest little vacuum cleaner in the whole country. Bully for you. <laughs> Mrs. Tom Michael, I am talking on the phone. If you don't... Well, you just finish Hello. your conversation while I get the machine ready for a demonstration. Hey, don't bother. Hello, Don't Jim. bother. I'll just plug it in. Hey, that's a faulty plug. If you plug it in there, you'll get a shock and you'll... What? Nothing. <laughs> Go ahead and plug it in. <laughs> Never works when you want it to. <laughs> Jim, I'd better call you back. There's been an interruption here. Yeah. Now, I I'm want to show you a of... great feature of this yeah. machine, Mr. Mooney. Yeah, please, please. I'm talking on the phone. Well, you, you just keep right on talking. I want to show you how quietly this machine runs. Look, look Jim, I'll tell you what yeah, I'll you do. see? I'll, I'll you just talk keep to you right later on talking, on. Yeah. and you no. won't notice a single thing. <laughs> Jim, uh, 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 Jim? Oh. Oh. <laughs> my stamp, my upside down, my $3,000 stamp, the vacuum cleaner! <laughs> your phone, please. Oh, certainly. I'll show you where the phone is in just a minute. I, I just want to turn off my oven. Now, I'm going to show you a smooth sales approach. You just stick around and learn something. I'm so sorry. Oh. I, I just didn't want to burn my cake. That's perfectly all right. I'll bet you're a wonderful cook. <laughs> Most beautiful women are. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, if you'll follow me, I'll show you where the phone is. Thank you. Get your vacuum. <laughs> uh, ladies, the phone is right in that... What's that? Are you selling vacuum cleaners? What makes you think that? Well, <laughs> now, as a matter of fact, we are selling vacuum cleaners, Mrs. Uh... Mrs. White, and I don't need a vacuum cleaner. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, I can see you don't need a vacuum cleaner. I don't think I've ever seen a home quite as spotless and beautiful as yours <laughs> is. And this rug, oh, my gracious, this rug must just sparkle when it's been vacuumed. 
But I just vacuumed it. I just vacuumed it this morning. Well, now that just goes to show you how inadequate an ordinary vacuum cleaner is. <laughs> of course, if you had used our little handy dandy vacuum cleaner, it wouldn't look this way. Oh, is there a difference? Oh, my good woman, just let me show you the difference. Now, my assistant will demonstrate. <laughs> Mrs. Carla, <laughs> plug in your vacuum and clean Mrs. White's rug for her. And then I want you to go upstairs, and I want you to demoth all the closets, and I want you to clean all the woodwork, all the Venetian blinds, and then polish the floors. Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> now, shall we just sit down and watch? I'd love to. You want me to start on the garage now? <laughs> Good girl. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Master. That's my ambition in life, to make you proud of me. <laughs> well, here we are. A nice, fresh batch of cookies. Oh, thank And now, Mrs. White, I'd like to show you how much dirt this little vacuum picked up. May I use this piece of paper? By all means. Thank you very much. We'll just, uh... Oh, for goodness sake. Oh. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, bring the dirt over here to me. Dump it. <laughs> My goodness, that's amazing. Well, I certainly am impressed with your vacuum cleaner, and I'm going to buy one. That's a very wise decision, Mrs. White. I'll just write up your order. Oh, thank you. But my brother-in-law's in the appliance business, and I can get it wholesale. <laughs> Don't put it away. Eat it. I'm sorry about not buying the vacuum from you girls, but you understand. Don't my apologize, Mrs. White. Would you mind stepping out here with me? Why? I don't want to see any blood spilled on the rug I just cleaned. <laughs> Good day, madam. Oh, that's all right. And you forgot the dirt. You can keep it. It's on the house. <laughs> well, a perfectly good airmail stamp. Oh. Junior? Yes, Mom? When you go out, I want you to mail this letter that's on the desk. Okay. Oh, boy, you and your salesmanship. My assistant will do everything. Demoth, polish. Oh, the, the, I oh I've, I've been looking all over the neighborhood for you. Oh, thank goodness you still have it. Give it to me. No, oh, no, please, no. Please. When I tried to sell it to you a little while ago, you gave me a pretty rough time. Now I'm not so sure I want to sell it to you. No, I, I, I don't want your machine. I just want your dirt. My dirt? What are you going to do with my dirt? Well, you see, I'm a collector. And You're you a have... dirt collector? Oh, give it to me, please. Thank heaven you didn't sell it to anybody. You don't know what this means to me. Now, Viv, that salesmanship. I got him on his knees begging me to sell it to him. <laughs> all right, all right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's what? My 1918 upside-down airplane. <laughs> Customer and he's a fruitcake. <laughs> you better go home, honey. Lie down. You need a rest. Look, look, let me explain. When you were at my home, I had an airmail stamp on my desk, and your vacuum picked it up, and I got to get that airmail stamp back. Boy, he really is a tight wad. I'll give you the eight cents. <laughs> that stamp is worth three thousand dollars. $3,000? Oh, well, what were you mailing, an elephant? <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, that's a very rare stamp. All right, all right, Mr. Mooney, now don't worry. If oh. it was picked up by the vacuum, it'll still be in there because we yeah. haven't emptied it out. Yeah, we did empty it out. Oh, it must be in that pile of dirt back at Mrs. White's house. Yes, it's at Mrs. White's house. Well, we're, we're... well, it better be there because if it isn't, I'm going to have a stuffed redhead in my trophy room. Don't worry. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Mom, is this blue envelope the one you wanted me to mail? Yes, dear. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Sonny, is your mother home? Yeah, she's inside. Hey, mother, a bunch of people out here to see you. Yes, what can I... Oh, it's you again. <laughs> Madam, where do you keep your dirt? <laughs> My what? Your dirt. The dirt we emptied out of the vacuum cleaner when, when we uh, when we cleaned oh, your house. Oh, I, I burned that in the incinerator. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Did you did you really burn it? Are you sure there was a stamp in there? And if you oh, burned the stamp, it, I... oh no, no, I didn't burn the stamp. You didn't. No, no, I found it on the floor. And oh, I it thank and goodness! I... Can I please have it? Well, you can if you can beat Junior to the mailbox. What? Well, I. <laughs> I put a stamp on it and he's mailing. We gotta beat the kid to the mailbox. Yeah, 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 yeah. Couldn't you sell something soft? I'm sorry. <laughs> Step aside. Well, I'd love to, but I'm afraid you're going to have to work around me. <laughs> Please, lady, don't give me any trouble. I. What's your arm doing in a mailbox? Well, I want to talk to you about that. You see, uh, I, I was mailing a letter and it snapped at me. <laughs> I, I can explain this. You see, there was a letter dropped in there by mistake. It had a rare stamp on it, and I want it back. Well, you're not going to get it back like that. Once something's in that mailbox, it's the property of the U.S. government. You mean I gotta go to Washington to get my arm back? <laughs> I'll get your arm back for you. How are you gonna do that? Just what are you gonna this. do? Ow, ow. Oh. You got it? Oh. Oh. oh! Thank you. Thank you. All right, now you two just run along, please. Uh, uh, Mr. Postman, there's there's just one letter that I want to get my hands on. I'm sorry, no tampering with the mail. Oh, but I, I, I insist that you give me that letter. I insist. Look, mister, I got my own problems. I got bunions on my feet, my shoulder is sore, and there's a dog on my rock that keeps biting me. Oh, well, and maybe if I made it worth your while, you might... Are you trying to bribe me? <laughs> no. You see, uh, we posted it by mistake. We want to get it back. Oh, well, well, then we'll have to fill out a form. I'll need some pertinent information. All right, what do you want to know? I need to know the name of the party to whom the letter was addressed, the state, city, and zip code numbers. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't you write the letter? No. Did you write the letter? No. Then you wrote the letter. 
Three strikes, you're out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Doesn't this letter belong to any one of you? Well, no, but I can explain the whole thing. You see, I was selling him a vacuum cleaner, and it made a lot of noise, so we went over to Mrs. White's, and her brother-in-law sells appliances, so then Mr. Mooney told us that, that he collects dirt, and he lost his upside-down airplane, and Mrs. White's son mailed it in a blue envelope, so you've just got to get it for us. <laughs> Lady, we don't mind the snow or the rain or the sleet. It's those poops like you that drive us nuts. What she's really trying to say is that it's really Mrs. White's envelope, but the stamp belongs to him. Yes. That's right, and I've got to get it back. Yes. And now, if Mrs. White comes down and identifies her letter, we'll be only too happy to give it to her. Yeah, oh, oh. Well, I'll go and get Mrs. White and bring her back here. Then. Yeah. Where, where was it? She lived again. I'll go right with you. Oh, yeah, we'll go with you. No, 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 no. You wait here. Wait here, you look Why? for that letter. You look for that letter and get that stamp before they cancel it. But uh, how am I going to get it? Well, use your head. <laughs> oh, that'll never do it. <laughs> no, 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 you Mr. just Mooney. get that stamp back or it's going to cost you $3,000. Why should it cost me $3,000? <laughs> Well, now, hi there. Hi. <laughs> you see, uh, I'm waiting here for a postman who has a letter with a stamp that I've got to get. Excuse me, lady. That's all right. The reason that I'm waiting is that if the stamp gets canceled, it would cost me a fortune. See, I don't want the letter. All I want is the Excuse stamp. Me, lady. That's all right. <laughs> hey, it's you. Where are the letters? Lady, let go of my car. Where are the letters? I dumped them over there. Hey, don't touch that oh, mail, lady. Look, these are the letters that I have to look at. Out, lady. That, no, that's the postman that I... Out, lady. You don't understand. Don't that's touch the those letters. But out. that's the postman that has the letter that I have to get. You don't understand how I important said it is. out. But I've got to get that letter. Out. You, you, you don't understand. Out. I'm in $3,000 worth of trouble. I said Out. <laughs>